Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today we are recreating this look right here that Gigi Hadid wore to the 2019 MTV Music Video Awards. That is such a mouthful to say without stumbling on your words. I don't even know how I just did it. But anyway, I saw Gigi had posted this picture and I immediately wanted to recreate it, so I clicked the makeup artist who did her makeup, Carolina Gonzalez, and she actually listed out every single product that she used, which is all Maybelline. I'm sure you guys know you've been to the drugstore. Gigi is often on the Maybelline display. She's clearly a partner, so a lot of times when celebrity makeup artists are doing her makeup, they're using all Maybelline products. So I thought it would be so cool to go out, buy those exact products, and then recreate it for you guys today. So I did exactly that. There's one product that I couldn't get, which is the Maybelline Master Chrome like Jelly Highlighter. They literally do not sell it anywhere but Walmart and I live in Chicago and we don't have Walmart here so I'm using the powder instead which I'm kind of happy about because I'm not usually into jelly highlights or anything like that but I thought this would be so cool to recreate and see if we can actually get the same look using the exact same product. So if you are interested in seeing if we can recreate this look together, go ahead and keep watching. There is a dead spider sitting on the little table I have set up. I'm filming in a different area right now because the other room that I normally film in is occupied and there is a dead spider like caught between tape here and I literally want to freak out but I don't want to move so we're just going to bear through this you guys. Ugh. I am not a bug person. <laughs> Okay, so the first product that Carolina says that she used is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. So I haven't, I don't think I've ever tried this. It's been a very long time since I've tried a Fit Me product in general. I used to really like the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, I think that's what it was called. But then I just stopped liking it because I don't like matte foundations anymore. So I'm hoping I'm going to love this. This is the color 120 classic ivory and it seems like it's going to be a really good match i also picked up 110 porcelain and that seems just a little too light gg wore buff beige which was way too dark for me i'm just going to start kind of applying this and i'm going to use a brush to get as much coverage in it as i can and then i'm going to use a beauty blender to kind of blend it out um, but Gigi has really nice skin it looks like so they probably didn't use that much and from what i remember these are kind of like medium coverage. I'm not going to go into the details or anything like that or look up the products. I'm solely going to try to just kind of recreate the look. So hopefully this isn't too much coverage. We'll start with that and then I'm going to just take a brush to kind of blend it out. This is the Sigma Practic Foundation Brush. I always just kind of like to take a setting spray and work that into the brush so it's got kind of like a slip to it, if that makes sense. That's just personal preference. So I'm going to do this. And yeah, this definitely looks like lighter coverage. Okay, so before I go in and add anything else, I'm just gonna kind of smooth over everything with my sponge. This is an AOA paw paw sponge. It's one dollar and fifty-five cents, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. But this is definitely a lighter coverage foundation, but it looks really, really nice and natural and pretty. And holy cow, that color matches so well. Just for reference, in the L'Oreal Freshwear, I'm shade 420. This is slightly darker, but matches me really well. I do still have a little bit of my self-tan on as well, but definitely not as tan as Gigi. I wish that the Maybelline Fit Me foundations had pumps. I think you can take like a MAC pump or buy a MAC pump and make that work as well, but this looks really pretty. It definitely has a little bit of a glow. It's very natural. It's it's light, maybe earring on a little bit of medium coverage when you build it up like on that cheek area, but it looks great on my nose. It looks great on my forehead. I have very normal skin, so I thought this would be okay, but I definitely like this a lot better than the matte and poreless, so I'm definitely going to be using this again. It almost reminds me of the Physician's Formula Healthy Skin Foundation in a weird way. So next up, we're going to go in with the concealer. This is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer, so I actually just did a video of playing with my old favorites and the Maybelline Superstay foundation was one of my favorites but then like I said I kind of stepped away from the matte products and fell in love with more dewy products so I don't know if this is going to be too drying on me. I am probably going to use my finger to kind of blend this out. It's kind of a thicker formula. It's not like heavy. It's light but it's thicker and typically 
when I use my fingers to blend, it looks a little bit better. So I'll probably start with that and then I'll go in with the Beauty Blender if necessary to kind of smooth out. It looks like Gigi wore medium, but I grabbed the shade light. <laughs> I hope you guys can't, I'm sure you can hear the grasshoppers. They're like going off like crazy right now. And this also is like prime flight time. So there's a ton of airplanes kind of going around right now, but that looks pretty good. I could have probably gone a shade darker if I wanted to. There was a light medium and that might have worked a little bit better. This is brightening for sure. So if you do like that brightening look and you're around my skin tone, go with light. If you want it to be more your skin tone, you might want to go light medium. I don't think that we use our fingers enough anymore in makeup. I think part of that has to do with the mass marketing of brushes these days and sponges and you know every YouTuber gets a million of them but your fingers are such good tools even for foundations. Ugh, I forget how good just the warmth of your finger makes products go into your skin sometimes. There is a reason why makeup artists use their fingers. Alright so I am going to just take the sponge and kind of tap over the edges so that line isn't so harsh but so far this is pretty it doesn't seem like it's super matte i didn't see on the box that it said anything about being like a matte formula so i don't know it might be kind of just like a natural finish so i like that i just i in hindsight wish that i had grabbed like medium okay so next up it says that she used her master chrome jelly highlighter it doesn't say that she set her under eyes I might have to do that because I have very finicky under eyes, but I'm going to let it hang out for now, set down, and then I'll fix it later. Typically, I do not go in with highlight at this point. I don't know if this is the order that she did it, but I'm just going to kind of follow that order, at least for now. So, like I said, she used the Master Chrome Jelly Highlight in Metallic Rose. I don't have that. I couldn't find it. I don't live by Walmart. So I have the Maybelline Master Chrome. I have the Nikki Tutorials version, which usually works really well around this scone, scone tone, skin tone. Oh, I love scones. Scones are so good. My friend's mom makes like the best scones in the world and you guys obviously don't care. So moving on. I also have the shade Molten Gold. This is a very popular one. Maybe I should use this since this is more of a bronzy look. And then I have the Maybelline Puma one, which I thought was more of like a rose gold kind of look, but this one is just too dark for me. So I think I'm going to use a mixture of Molten Gold and the Nikki Tutorials version. Now she has a lot of highlight in her inner corner. Um, it doesn't look like she has that much on her face, but it's also a photo of her looking forward so I can't really see. She looks kind of matte everywhere else, but I'm going to go ahead and highlight these inner corners to start and we'll beef that up later, but I just want to get a little bit of highlight there and I'm just kind of dipping in both and then lightly applying. This is in Morphe M507. And then she definitely has highlight on the tip of her nose, so I'm going to highlight there. And she usually, you can't tell in this photo, but she usually has highlight right between her brows right there, and it looks really pretty on her. So I'm going to go ahead and just make the assumption. I'm not going to bring it down like an explanation point, exclamation point, I always call it explanation, exclamation. And I'll go ahead and just add a touch on the cheeks just to kind of round everything out. And then I always just kind of push that into the skin with my beauty blender so everything looks nice and natural. Okay, so next up we have the Maybelline City Bronzer. Gigi used the shade Medium, which I think is 200. That's the shade that I have here as well. This is a favorite on my channel. I've been using this for a while. It is such a pretty bronzer. You should all have this in your collection at some point. It's so pretty. It's smooth. It lasts. It just looks stunning, and there are so many people who love it. So I'm going to go ahead and bronze up. Now, it doesn't say that she uses a blush, So and it doesn't. It looks like she has a faint peachy blush on so maybe we'll add that but I don't know if it's the bronzer or what because it does kind of have like a peachy tone to it and make sure you work your bronzer right into your hairlines there's no like 
visible line of like demarcation you just want it to look super seamless so I always kind of like work it right into the hairline and I don't care I have blonde hair you can't really tell I am going to take a touch of that right here can you guys see the difference I think that looks so pretty it's really subtle but really pretty and then again I always just kind of take my sponge and work out those edges because we want everything to look as seamless as possible <laughs> all right you guys i think the skin looks so pretty right now i could totally see why this would be one of those red carpet type looks it looks natural it doesn't look cakey at all it doesn't look heavy and it's like the perfect amount of bronze i'm loving this right now so let's move on to the next product which is eyebrows she used the maybelline brow ultra slim on Gigi, she used the light blonde but these brows are not light blonde. I dye my brows because I like the kind of blonde dark look. So anyway, I picked up medium brown and I haven't used this ever, so I'm very excited to use it. It kind of looks like the Anastasia and I just recently refell back in love with my brow wiz, so I'm hoping I love this. So we'll go ahead and try this out. I need a tiny mirror. The, if you guys like do your makeup, do you lose all of your products as well and then realize they're sitting right in front of you happens every time so it has a really really nice tiny little fine tip let me show you see how nice and tiny that is I love that in a brow pencil now Gigi doesn't have like really defined brows it looks like she kind of just filled in the center and it doesn't look like she did any like fine hair strokes but it kind of looks to me like they set her brows up like that with like soap brows or something like that I don't know I I have a glycerin soap that I use sometimes but I can't find that I'm just gonna try to like fluff them up as mo much as possible I already love this this is so nice it's the perfect amount of like emollient it's not like dragging on my brows at all sometimes my brow wiz is a little too dry when I've had it out for a while and that might happen to this as well obviously I just opened this but the pigment is just perfect it's not too much so you don't go overboard too quickly I'm really liking this a lot alright so that is the brows I think they look so good I didn't fill much in in the front because it doesn't look like she did and then I just kind of set them up and fluffed them up to kind of give that whole model brow look I'm sure they're gonna fall as this video goes on I'm gonna try to look for my like soap to set these up because that's like the best way to get that fluffy model brow but let's go ahead and move on to eyes so I assume she did her eyes first she actually did list this product first but I don't like to do my eyes first I like the base first so we are using the 24 karat nudes from Maybelline this is what the palette looks like and we are mainly gonna be going in with this shade right here which is all over her lid it looks like she's using this a bit to highlight even more on the inner corner and then she obviously has like a soft brown shade I'm just gonna use the bronzer and see if that will work but we might have to go in with something a little heavier maybe we can go in with this shade very very lightly but we'll see as we go all right so starting with that bronzer I'm just gonna take my wet n wild p20 brush and I'm gonna start to kind of build out the crease area so scoot in a little bit for you guys it looks like her makeup artist brought both the gold glitter and whatever she has in her crease which I'm assuming is this shade fairly high up so I'm gonna take it all the way from outer corner right into here where we're meeting where I put that bronzer and that just kind of makes the eye look a lot bitter, bigger not bitter because we don't have bitter eyes hopefully so you can see the difference with this one right here where I have this bronzer on I was gonna call it a shadow but it's bronzer as shadow today versus this eye which has nothing on it it just looks nice and defined and a little bit bigger all right so it also looks like she has that bronzer under the eyes as well so I'm just gonna take a Mac 219 and work that under the eyes as well and I'm actually very impressed with that concealer it's really not creasing a lot at all for not having set it there are a few creases but we will work those out so I don't think I'm gonna set it alright so super happy with that so now let's get into the gold so it looks like she has this 
gold shade in the palette all over her lids. So that's what I'm going to do. I want to use my finger, but I have very stumpy fingers. So I don't know. I'll try to use my pinky to start. We might have to switch over to a flat brush, but that looks super pigmented. It could be the photo that she took. I have the photo right here, which is what I keep looking at when I look down. But it looks like hers looks a little more yellow gold in the picture. So I don't know if that's just the photograph, if it was the lighting. Maybe we'll go over a little bit with the more shimmery shade. But let's go ahead and just start with this for now and put it all over the lid. <gasps> wrong color, wrong color, wrong color. Uh, panic, 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 this is why we should look at what we're doing. Alright, I think we're okay. Crisis averted. That was horrible. Let's look at what we do before we dip our fingers. So, back into the gold. It's not quite as pigmented as I want it to be, which, thank God, because that dark blue color I just put on. But, I think maybe if I spray my brush and then go in I might have some better luck I mean it's not horrible but I think we could get a little bit better so I'm just gonna take this flat Sigma medium sweeper the E54 and I'm gonna spray it with just a primer spray and then dip into that gold color and it looks like she does have a bit up on her hood area so go a little above I don't want to go too far above though let's just start with that let me even these puppies out okay so then with just a clean brush I'm kind of cleaning this on my leg here it's super sanitary this is just a Smith 230 I'm gonna kind of blend those edges and I think this is kind of where I know I'm like flip-flopping eyes here I'm going back and forth but I think this is probably why some of that gold kind of transferred onto the hood through blending but this is really pretty I think that my like lid space is quite a bit bigger than hers which is why there's like more gold that you can see versus hers her eyelids are a little bit smaller now when I'm not holding my eyes open which I tend to do because I have hooded eyes it, it definitely looks smaller but I think some of the gold transferred onto her hood when her makeup artist was blending and it just looks pretty all right so dipping back into the bronzer I'm just gonna kind of work some of that back in here all right so I'm gonna bring that highlight back into the inner corner because in that one picture where her like mouth is kind of open and she's like that it really looks highlighted in there so I'm gonna grab just the Nikki tutorials version which is the the lighter version and I'm gonna like really kind of well you guys can see that work that into that inner corner under and up and in some of the photos it looks like she has gold under her eyes and then in some it doesn't so I'm just gonna leave it without it for now and then we'll revisit that if we need to but I do want to move on to the next product which is the snap scara the washable mascara in pitch black and this packaging is so cute this was like $5.99 at Target which is a really good price for mascara I feel like mascara is usually super expensive and it's so cute it has these little like eyelashes on the side so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this before I do anything else I'm just gonna kind of beef up the lashes it doesn't look like she has any falsies on she might have a couple of individuals on her outer corner actually you know what before we do that it does look like she has a wing on so let's do that first it looks like it's a black wing and then it's smoked out so maybe that's where this darker shade comes in we can go in and smoke it out with that so let me do that I'm gonna go ahead and add a winged liner on I don't have a Maybelline wing liner and it doesn't say she used a Maybelline wing liner so I'm just gonna go in with my essence eyeliner pen and I'm gonna just do a little tiny wing and then I'm gonna just smoke it out with this shade it looks like she really only has this on the outer area so it kind of stops halfway through 
happy with that. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the mascara. So like I said, it looks like she might have a couple of individuals on the outer corner. Once I get this mascara on, if I feel like I need to add a couple of individuals, I'll do that. But let me put this on and then I will meet you right back here. Okay, so before I go in with lower lash mascara, I just want to first show you this mascara. I think it looks so pretty. It's really separating and lengthening. I am going to add a couple of individuals on the outer corner, but I also want to go in with that darker brown in the shade, in the shade, in the palette. And I just want to add a little here just to the outer third area just to kind of add some definition it just kind of makes everything look a little more like sexy you know what I mean I'm gonna do that same thing to the other side pop on those individuals and I will be right back here all right you guys so I ended up going with just three on each side of those kiss lash trios and I think that made a huge difference I also took the hair down it is still burning hot in here but I think it's just gonna be better for the overall look in the end so let's go ahead and finish this up with lips so it looks like her makeup artist used two lip liners the color sensational nude whisper and color sensational in totally toffee I just picked up totally toffee because nude whisper was really really nude like too nude for me I don't think I'd ever use that and it looks like she used totally toffee to really kind of wow that goes up really high for the start and won't go down so that's probably gonna break on me but that's okay but in looking at the photo it looks like she used totally toffee to kind of overline a little bit so that's what I'm gonna do and then for the actual lip color she used the shine compulsion lipstick makeup by color sensational in baddest beige which is what i picked up here this looks like it's going to be a really pretty color so i'm just going to go ahead and line with totally toffee and then fill with baddest beige okay so this is just totally toffee and i feel like it's a lot more pink than i expected it to be it doesn't look extremely like the liner in the photo maybe it was nude whisperer that's around I'm not sure I am gonna fill in a little bit with this as well yeah it just looks a little more um, pink than I expected it to but the baddest beige color I think is gonna tone that down a little bit so we'll see how this looks and then I'll end up kind of mixing them together with a concealer brush the lip color definitely looks a little bit different on me. I was a little worried I wasn't going to like that baddest beige color. I thought it was going to be a little light for me, but I think because my natural lips are a little bit darker than hers and a little more pink, that might be why the lip color looks different, but I'm also going to take a little bit of that highlight on a MAC 224 and I'm just looking at this photo. And I think I'm actually going to kind of bring that up even farther because like I said, you can kind of see the highlight on her hood, the like gold, although it, it looks a little lighter than gold. So using the Master Chrome highlight, I'm going to just kind of work that right into the crease area, like right there. I think that's kind of giving me more of the vibe might be a little too light so I'm gonna quickly dip into the gold in the palette as well and just do that as well to kind of blend that together all right you guys that is it for this one I think this turned out so pretty there are so many products I discovered in this video that are going to become staples the mascara is awesome my lashes look so good and typically I don't like mascara when I first try it love the foundation you guys know how much I love this bronzer such a good bronzer same thing with the highlight I use those all the time very impressed with the brow product the eyeshadow was good I don't think you need it though I'm not obsessed with the lip liner and the lip situation I do like the feeling of the lipstick it's very very comfortable but I would definitely go get a different color this just isn't usually kind of my typical color so I love this look this was so fun to do let me know if you guys enjoyed it or if you have any questions at all let me know how you think I did as well obviously I'm not Gigi I don't look like Gigi so things are gonna look different on me than they look on her but you guys get the idea here it's just kind of recreating the look on myself so I hope you found this video helpful again if you guys have any questions as always please let me know below 
below. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.